I want Jesus to walk with me. Yes, I want Jesus to walk with me. All along my pilgrim's journey, I want Jesus. Walk with me when I'm in trouble, Lord. Walk with me when I'm in trouble, Lord. Walk with me when my head is bowed in sorrow. I want you, Jesus, to walk with me in my trials, Lord. Won't you walk with me in my trials, Lord? Walk with me when my heart. Is almost breaking. I want Jesus to walk with me. Please stand and turn in your hymnals to number 16 in our blue book. Number 16, God is here among us. So 
Come in, dwelling spirit, with transfigured splendor, love and honor will I render. Where I go, here below, let me bow before thee, kneel thee and adore thee. Gladly deceitful treasures, pride of life and sinful pleasures. Gladly, Lord, we offer thine to be forever, soul and life and each endeavor. Thou alone shalt be remain standing for the next hymn, 506 in the same book, I Sought the Lord. I sought the Lord and afterward my new seated. The rhythm of worship is a breathing in and a breathing out, a time to sing, a time of confession, a time of dwelling in the word. And it's also a time to receive and welcome the divine in our lives in silence. So we will have both silence and words as a way to worship this morning. As we begin, hear these words adapted from Psalm 149. Sing to the Lord a new song. Praise God with words and silence. Praise God through all your actions. Praise God in sorrow and in joy. Praise God with music and dancing, with bodies moving in delight. Let the wise sing out in their freedom. Let the whole earth echo their song. Let all God's creatures be peaceful and walk in the path of true life. May it be so. Amen. I invite you to stand if you're able and join me in a responsive call to worship.
To worship is to stand in awe under a heaven of stars before a flower, a leaf in sunlight, or a grain of sand. To worship is to work with dedication and with skill. It is to pause from work and listen to a strain of music. Worship is the mystery within us reaching out to the mystery beyond. You may be seated. As we light the peace lamp this morning, holding the needs, the desire, the longing for peace, I invite you to join me in some hand motions that Bethany taught us some months ago. I will say them first and I invite you to echo them back. We hold peace in our hands. We hold peace in our hearts. And we lift up our prayers for peace to God. Again, let's just say it in unison. We hold peace in our hands. We hold peace in our hearts. And we lift up our prayers for peace to God. May it be so. Amen. I welcome the Spiker Schoenbergs to lead us in music. As you guys are getting set up, I see that all the kids who are here today are coming forward. Right after you guys do this singing, we're gonna have children's time on the screen. So I just invite you to take a seat up front um, and uh, join in the singing and stay for children's time. It's good to see you all. We have three songs to share with you this morning. Um, the first is called Every Ditch, Every Valley by a group called Ordinary Time. The second is um, We'll Work Till Jesus Comes, um, which is an old, old song. And then the third one is um, We Praise You, Wonderful God. Those of you who remember Jason and Naomi Smith remember, may, might remember that they sang this song for every child dedication. And so they taught it to us and we continue to really love this song. So these are songs that are part of our family and we're really glad to share them with you. If you know them, please sing along or they're easy to catch on to. So please join us. And they're all best sung at, uh, I almost said top speed, at the top of your lungs. <laughs>
we had some words for these songs. I'm not sure, um, folks in the back, if they are, if you're able to put those up or not. But the next one is, um, we'll work till Jesus comes. Next one. <laughs> there we go. And of rest for the outside when you shine the moment come. children. Uh, this morning's children time we're going to talk about music because it's a singing Sunday. Uh, so I thought we'd talk about why we sing and what music can do for us. Um, one of the reasons I really like singing as part of church is that it feels like a different way to connect with God and each other and myself and the world around us um, that is different than just thinking about it or talking about it. Uh, sometimes music can help us feel or express feelings that maybe we can't really put into words or we have trouble talking about. And this morning I wanted to look at a few different songs and how it makes us feel. And as we look at these, um, I want you to think about sometimes music can be a type of praying, um, a way for us to like I said, connect with God or connect with Mother Earth and connect with each other in a way that we can't always put into words. Um, it can be comforting. It can be joyful. It can be sad. It can be hopeful. We can sing as a blessing to other people. Um, sometimes we sing as a sending out, as we're sending people out to do other things in the world. Um, so I'm gonna, I have three songs this morning that I'm going to play and I want you to think about as I play them 
how how does a song make you feel um how does it make you think about god how does it make you feel about god um how does it make you think about the world and feel about the world and about each other and about yourself um and those are different ways that we can make those connections and come together and i think singing together also joins us together in those feelings and so it can also take you out of yourself and help you feel like you're part of a part of a body uh, beyond just you um, and that is a, a big part of our christian faith at umc is that communal feeling and communal worship um, the first song we're going to listen to is called you shall go out with joy and this is a fun song it makes me feel happy and joyful it makes me think about the earth and how god cares for the earth and created the earth and how we are part of that creation you shall go out with joy The second song we're going to listen to, to is called Oh Sacred Head Now Wounded. And this song is sad. It's usually played around Easter time when we are uh, thinking and talking about Jesus dying on the cross. And this song captures that, that sad time and the mourning and the grief that people feel around death. Um, so as we listen to it, just let yourself sit with that feeling it's okay to feel sad and sometimes songs are a nice way to express that with grief and shame weighed down now scornfully surround the last song we're going to listen to is called my soul cries out and we sing this in church sometimes and this song is a song that makes me feel power uh, sometimes it's easy to feel lost or like we're alone or maybe God isn't really doing a whole lot. And this song always reminds me of the power of God and the power of our work together as we join God's spirit in the world. Um, so I like this song as a, a good reminder um, to not get discouraged and that we can make change, positive changes in the world. So when you listen to this song, think about how it makes your heart feel. My soul cries out with a joyful shout for the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fix your sight on your servant's plight and my weakness. Thanks for listening to the songs with me today. And I hope as you sing songs throughout the church service today, you think you can be thinking about how how are these songs making you feel how do they help you connect to god how do they help you connect to yourself and to your family and our church and what do they inspire you to do as you go out into the world this week as a prayer to end our children's time today i'm going to have evelyn evelyn offer to help lead us in a song together to sing called jesus loves me and this song for me is feel makes me feel comforted um, feel and also something called nostalgia which is we sang it when I was little and it makes me think of my childhood as well uh, so we can all join together with Evelyn and sing Jesus loves me as a prayer thanks
Thank you, children. Thanks for being up front. You can go ahead back to your seats. A pause as we settle. As we move into a time of hearing two different scriptures this morning, the one involves a parable of sowing and tending and harvesting, and the other is where Jesus reminds us of the intimate love that God invites us and the need for an ongoing attention. Both scriptures today involve small and ordinary acts. Gardening requires ongoing attention. If you try and only pay attention to a garden once a week, you won't get much. And the same with parenting. So I invite you to listen to the scripture and the song. Listen for the ordinary ways that devotion is needed, how tending is necessary, and to know that God's love is here, present, in the midst of this kingdom work. Eva. Jesus told another parable to the crowds saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a farmer sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. Not because my voice is good, but to pity of the folks online. Okay, we'll have that too. All right. So, uh, good morning. And um, this, uh, so that scripture reading you know, about planting seeds for your garden, mustard seed, growing big trees, and um, uh, the uh, I suggested this song uh, mainly because we had we li listened to parables like that, parable of the sower. This song goes through my head, <clears throat> and I suggested it, and uh, and we we're going to do this. And we have oh the lyrics are on a, a hopefully will we'll be projected because this is a lot more of a singing song than a listening song, and uh, and, and of course it's about gardening about planting your garden, uh, working in your garden, as, as Kate said, but you, know, you can also think about it as, you know, working on your own self, your own attitudes, your relationships, uh, all those kinds of things so that you have a productive life. Uh, it, it, it's all in these lyrics, <laughs> if you like them. So I'm gonna uh, pick through the, uh, a little, the tune a little bit and then we'll sing the, uh, and, and hopefully that- Ross, I don't think there's a slide. It, so we, we're not going to get the lyrics? Oh. We're going to enjoy you. Oh, no. <laughs> right, you know what I mean when I say it's more of a singing song than a listening song. Well, then, if it's just me, then I'll just go ahead and get started. If, some of you will know some of this, and please do join in. Each by inch and a row by row, gonna make this a garden grow. Gonna mulch it to deep and low, gonna make it fertile ground. Each by inch and a row by row, please bless these seeds that sow. Please keep them safety low till the rain comes a tumbling down. Yeah. 
picking stones We are made of dreams and bones I feel the need to grow my own Cause the time is close at hand Grain for grain, sun and rain I'll find my way in nature's chain In my body and my brain To the music of the band to deep and low, gonna make it fertile ground, inch by inch and row by row, please bless these seeds I sow, please keep them safe below till the rain comes a-tumbling down. You give her love and care. Oh, go watching from a tree as his hungry eye on me. In my garden, I'm as free as a feathered thief up there. Last chance now, inch by inch and a row by row. Gonna make this a garden grow. Gonna mulch it and keep and move. Gonna make it fertile ground Inch by inch and a row by row Please bless these seeds I sow Please keep them a safe below Till the rain comes a tumbling down <laughs> Thank you Luke chapter 11, verses 1 and 9 to 13. When one of his disciples asked how to pray, Jesus offered a model for prayer and told them, that's why I tell you, keep asking and you'll receive. Keep looking and you'll find. Keep knocking and the door will be opened to you. For whoever asks, receives. Whoever seeks, finds. Whoever knocks is admitted. What parents among you would give a snake to their child when the child asks for a fish or a scorpion when the child asks for an egg? If you, with all your sins, know how to give your children good things, how much more will our heavenly Abba give the Holy Spirit to those who ask?
grateful for music that we have this morning. Hal is homesick with COVID and so grateful um, that we can enjoy other music. As we move into a time of confession, we move into an opportunity to bring our whole selves, our whole selves to God. And that involves recognizing the places where we forget, where we've forgotten who we are and whose we are. Confession invites us into a time of recognizing and naming these places where we forget, these places of disconnection in our lives. What are you doing with the chair? I'm bringing it up. And so I invite you to join me in this confession. Uh, those on my left and then, I'm sorry, on your left and then on your right will come in at the times marked. So join me. God of life, of all life and each life, we lay our lives before you. We open our lives to you from whom nothing is hidden. God, give us the grace to walk in the way of Christ. Guide us by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. May these words be received. May we know that pain cannot be unmade, that life cannot be unlived, that time will not run backward, and we cannot unchoose our choices. But through Jesus, God has promised the pain can be healed. Our choices can be redeemed. Our lives can be blessed and love can bring us home. God, cover us with forgiving love and bring us home. And all God's people said, amen. Osanum tua lo aco, Osanum tua lo aco, Osanum tua lo aco, U Jesu acaso zati hai, Osanum tua lo aco. Oh, 
As we move into a time of announcements and getting to know one another in different ways, I'm wondering if we have any visitors with us and if you would like to stand and tell us your name so we can greet you. We welcome knowing. Martha, welcome. Glad you're with us. Thank you. How about birthdays or anniversaries that we might be celebrating? Vonda and I uh, have been married 39 years and one day. Woo, congratulations. I think our, I think our Kate had a birthday while she was away. You called me out, Evelyn. I did. <laughs> I um, was able to celebrate my birthday out in Wisconsin. Thank you. It was a lovely birthday. I saw that it's Sam Yoder's birthday this week. Sam. Well, happy birthday to Sam. Let's all say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hmm. How about announcements? Are there announcements to share with the congregation? I have an announcement from the Finance Committee. Our fiscal year runs through August, and it's time to think about next fiscal year. So I have pledge forms. They're back on the counter in the foyer for pledging for your intention to contribute to the budget next year. We use that information to build the budget and we'll have a meeting, uh, I think it's end of August or beginning of September, the next business meeting. In addition, we have on this same pledge form, the opportunity to pledge toward the solar panel and heat pump project that we approved at the last meeting. So you can, pledge what you would like to give this, this, uh, this calendar year and next calendar year toward that project. Just a brief update, we've, we've um, 
been dealing with the uh, contractor and we don't have the permit yet. So we're still waiting for that. So we haven't put the money down yet. They're thinking November as a target date, if all goes well. So it's, uh, it's on schedule in that way. So any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Karen Brandis or Becca uh, Saxima on the finance committee. Great. And Jim, can they put those in your mailbox or also just email you? Would that be another there, way? There are three options. Yeah, you can mail them to the church, put them in my mailbox here or email me. That's fine. Any of those. Thank you. Uh, just a brief Everance announcement. I put just a couple forms back on the table there. One is about the My Neighbor credit card that they that they have. If you want to get that, one percent of everything you buy goes to a charity of your um, interest. You let them know that, and a lot of money has gone to charities from people. I think our church has might have that. But if not, we might be interested in looking at getting that. But anyhow, and a couple other forms just about what Everance is about. And I'm the advocate for Everance for this congregation. So, thanks, Doug. And just a reminder that uh, next Sunday we will be having a picnic with uh, some grilling happening over in the park. So please come with a dish to share and uh, stay in fellowship. Well, I invite you to stand for the benediction. We began our service with Psalm 149, and I'm going to close with these words as well. So take them in as you go forth. My friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ, sing to the Lord a new song. Praise God with words and silence. Praise God through all your actions. Praise God in sorrow and in joy. Praise God with music and dancing, with bodies moving in delight. My friends, let the wise sing out in their freedom. Let the whole earth echo their song. Let all God's creatures be peaceful and walk in the path of true life. My friends, go in peace this day, loving and serving our God. Amen.